big city. No wallet. Is it too soon to tell you how much I love you? I don't believe you. What the hell? Morning, Mr. Stewart. Do you know me? Oh, sure I do. Who am I? <laughs> this a trick question? Just Bill Stewart, 1012. Bill Stewart. How long have I been here? A little over a week. Are you all right, sir? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Who's that? Blonde girl. That's Miss Wilson, 928. Look, Mr. Stewart, we have a doctor on call if... Excuse me. Uh, Dolores, I'll meet you in there, okay? Okay. Where the hell were you last night? I don't know. I... Oh, that's just wonderful. Wait, I don't know who you are. I really thought you were great. Will you talk to me, please? No, I'm already late, and I don't want to give a seminar with tear-stained mascara. I suppose you want this back. Thanks. Of course not. Look, when you figure out who I am, you call me. You don't understand. I don't know who I am. What are you talking about? Will you meet me in the bar? 11 o'clock, please. Cassie? Please, Cassie. I'm sorry, Dolores. Hey! Yeah, uh, get me the police, please. This is an emergency. What's wrong, Mr. Stewart? Uh, nothing. Huh. I thought I heard you call the police. I, I don't understand. You're searching my room. He tried to kill me. This is where he fell, right here. I hit him with an ashtray. What? I killed him. Look, Mr. Stewart, you're disoriented. I, I know what I did. Obviously, something has happened. Do you know who I am? Mr. Kovacs, hotel concierge. Right. This intruder. Do you know who he is? No. That's fine. You don't believe me. Okay. Why don't you try and lie down and get some rest? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was a dream. Is there anything else I can do for you? 
No, I'm sorry I caused you so much trouble, Mr. Kovacs. Yeah. I'll check in later, Mr. Stewart. One more box. I'll let you hold that. No, Cassie. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Cassie? I'll be right back. young girl being grabbed. Yeah. She was in here a couple of times. Didn't I see her with you the other night? No. I'm here alone. Well, you can start out alone, but ships are passing the night, you know. <laughs> I've watched her from here for 20 years. Metamorphosis, Kafka's playing area. Strangers become friends, become lovers during one night over a couple of drinks. <laughs> Thought I saw you two together. Must have been someone else. Maybe you better talk to the cops. Never volunteer. Look and listen. That's how I survive in my racket. One other? Yeah. You look like you could use one. How'd you get along with the uh, Kempel boys? Who? Tuesday night. I'm not surprised you don't remember. You were kind of wasted when they wheeled you in here. Conventions. Nothing like them, huh? Yeah. Tell me about Chemtel. Chemtel Industries, one of the largest drug companies in the world. They blow in here once a year, see the head office, talk shop, get wasted. You know the drill. These Chemtel people, uh, anyone in particular I was talking to? Philip Bellamy, chairman of the board. Big money, politics, that sort of thing. He was only in for a few seconds. You two had a few words. What kind of words? Loud ones. You don't remember, huh? You okay? You hit your head or something? I don't know. I can't remember anything. Amnesia? Real amnesia? You don't remember your name or anything? No. Well, I... They gave me a name, but I... It, it doesn't mean anything. I got no ID. Turn out your pockets. One ordinary fountain pen, one key to my room, and matches and a bar receipt. That's it? That's it. So this is how federal agents get their kicks these days? Kidnapping people? I want to see a lawyer. <laughs> oh, I like her. She's spunky. You know, I could just walk out that door right now if I wanted to. Technically, you could if you wanted, Miss Wilson. We're asking you to believe that we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't very important. Can I call you Cassie? No. She's spirited. I'll add that to your file. What file? This one. All oh, right. You're a design engineer. Brilliant, but troublesome in school. You walked out of MIT a few weeks before you got your doctor. So I'm impulsive. I'll say. You stayed over in Bill Stewart's room the first night you met him. Or maybe it wasn't the first night. Maybe you knew Mr. Stewart before you came to Chicago. Is this a sideline for you? Because you know I liked you a lot better as the concierge. And I liked you a lot better as the guest. Look, Cassie, I think it would be wise if you would tell us everything. Look, I have already told you all I can remember. Well, tell us again. OK, OK. I met this guy, OK? He was special. He was great. He was worth the effort. I liked him. I spent time with him. He stood me up last night. This morning, he claimed he couldn't remember a thing. I guess his wife must have called or something. He didn't seem like that sort of guy, but I guess that shows what I know. OK, that's it. Let's take it again from the top. Hey, coming out of the elevator, in the gray suit. They're all in gray suits. 
the real expensive gray suit. That's Bellamy. Right. You won't remember a thing in the morning, Mr. Stewart, not even who you are. Mr. Bellamy. I believe we've met before. I can't say that I recall. Oh, I think you do. Are you selling something? Whatever it takes to get you off my back. You know, sir, you don't look well. Perhaps you should lie down and get some rest. Take care of your health. I just don't believe you two. You kidnap me, you ask me things ten times in a row, and he goes crazy when he finds a contradiction. Come on. It's amazing I still remember my own name. Cassie, has it ever occurred to you that maybe it's more than fate that brought you and Bill together? I mean, you do work on uh, restricted projects for the biggest defense contractor in the country. Oh, is that what this is all about? Is Bill in some kind of trouble? He's a federal agent working for us. I'm sorry this has taken so long. Have uh, Levens bring a car around. Oh, no, no, no. Don't bother. I can take a cab, thank you. Bring the car around. I know this has been disturbing, but there's something very serious going on here, something that you shouldn't be involved in. Your life is in danger. If the other side finds you, it won't be this easy. Look, if, if you guys are trying to scare me, you know, you, you're doing a good job. Just take care. If anything should happen, if uh, Bill tries to get in touch, someone should follow you, call me at this number. Your car's out front. So what happened with Bellamy? <laughs> Charming guy. What we used to call him Boston. Under rock life. Boston, huh? <laughs> yeah. Starting to come back, huh? Pieces of your memory? Very small pieces. Yours dried up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, someone left this envelope here for you. Who was it? Uh, one of the Kemptel boys. Oh, it's beautiful. We're ready to deal. We have your friend. I guess this is your party, Mr. Bellamy. Ready when you are. Drop. Careful. As it turns out, I know how to use this thing. Kindly drop the gun, Mr. Stewart. Would you believe that my associate asked for a chance to soften you up a little? Wanted to make up for letting you get away the other evening, but I guess you don't remember very much of that, do you? Enough. You all right? I've been better. Give me the container. How do I know you won't kill both of us after I hand it over? You play a dangerous game, you can't worry about the consequences. What about the consequences of me blowing a hole right through your head? Your call. 
But if you do, your companion of the week dies. That doesn't bother you at all. This what you want? I see. Not supposed to drop it, this little devil, are we? Well, we didn't think that you'd be fool enough to carry it around outside the containment vessel. Not thinking clearly. That's what happens when somebody scrambles your brain. Cassie, walk right up here. I'll break it, Bellamy. No, you won't. Bacteria will kill you just as fast as it will us. Mm, bacteria. Nice to know. As for killing all of us, well, I don't know who I am, so I don't care. But what about her? You care about her, don't you? <laughs> if you play a dangerous game, you don't worry about the consequences. Come on, Cassie. All right, Stuart, you've got what you want. Now give me the cartridge. It's of no use to you. Sure. First, there's something you ought to know. What's that? Well, what was it again? Uh... Oh, yeah. I never did have amnesia. Catch! Come on! Now, what do you mean you never had amnesia? I broke the needle before Bellamy completed his injection. You mean you've been faking his headache all along? No, not exactly. I got enough of the drug to give me quite a hangover, as a matter of fact. But your memory, you never even lost it. Oh, smart. It's well as beautiful. I got a slap your face. You put me to hell! Cassie, I love you, okay? I had to fake the amnesia for your sake. If Bellamy had thought I'd confided in you about Camtel's medical experiments, they'd have killed you. Believe me. Besides, I had to play for time. I had nowhere to go, no one to trust. I had no next move. So you just stayed in your hotel room and pretended you'd completely lost your mind? The room was bugged. I had no choice. So if that vial that you threw was the phony, then where's the real one? I put it in a safe place before all this started. Somewhere I could keep my eye on it. I don't believe you. Sorry. Nice one to send it back, though, yeah? <laughs> so what are we supposed to do now? I mean, where are we going to go? Good question. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, your superior, what's his name? Uh, what, Hamilton? Yeah, he said he gave me his car. He said I'm supposed to call him if I'm in, in trouble. And... It's too bad we can't use him. Why? We can't let this go on any longer. We have to kill him now. No. Not as long as they've got that container. Why? Because if anything goes wrong, we're looking at the biggest investigation this country has ever seen. No, we may need a fall guy, a patsy. What do you want me to do? Just neutralize him. I've been working undercover at Camtel for six months. Then I found out my old boss was a traitor. Well, shouldn't we go to the authorities? Not until I find out what Bellamy and Hamilton are doing. Who can we trust? Each other. Mm. I love you. I don't believe you. OK. What's wrong, Bill? Do you know me? Do you know who I am? 